then because it's not the States, it's New Zealand, they politely put them back up again. <laughs> oh my God. No way. They did not just say that. Are you going to react to Kiwi hogs? Yeah. Uh, someone sent me the Kiwi, uh, the Kiwi hogs. I'm going to do John Oliver later. Yes. Find it yourself. <sighs> oh my God. Chat. You literally spam links all the time when I'm not interested or doing something else. And the moment where I'm like, you know what? Let's do it. Like, I'll finally watch your video. You're like, why don't you do it on? Why don't you find it on your own? Why don't you find it? You dumbass. Don't rely on chat. It's like, dude, but you never stop. You literally never stop when I'm, when I'm not uh, doing that. And then the moment where I actually need it, you're like, nah, it's so strange. Kiwi's finally waking up to Kyrie Tierney. <laughs> Kiwi's finally waking up to COVID tyranny. <laughs> My favorite is the shirtless dude who's like, he doesn't know how to do it. He's just like kind of standing there. This is wild. I feel like this is an act of war because it's technically an act before you do a war, literally. The Maori people have demanded they stop doing this dance because their people support vaccination. 90% vax in Auckland. If there's one thing that white people love to do is take other people's cultures, ethnicities, and stuff. I mean, these aren't white people chatters. Come on. Like, there's definitely white people in here, but, like, I don't know why people just refuse to recognize that, like, you can be a hog, okay? You can be Maori and a hog, okay? Trust. In a lot of instances, it comes from missionary work too. Just straight up brain diseased by missionaries that are like turning you into some of the most like religious converts. You don't have to act like they're white. Is That's what I'm saying. Like not exclusive to white people. COVID-19, what you need to do for home isolation. A group of Kiwis who've already caught had COVID-19 virus have pulled together to make a list of what they think people, the virus, who are isolating and own will need as a Delta community. Outbreak continues to grow. First aid kit for COVID-19. Paracetamol. Heat and cool packs. Ice blocks. Electrolytes. Vicks or eucalyptus for, strength, for steaming. Saline, nasal rinses and sprays. Kawakawa or other balms. This is the four types of Elon Musk fans. A lot more Kiwi hog content. So maggot has pushed election to 2024 so that the UN gets another year the dull Kiwis into servitude. Guess what? COVID legislation will be changed again. You will never get to vote again. We told you this. I screenshotted my phone. Okay. As a group, they were louder than they were large. And boy, those anti-vaccination protesters were loud as thousands of them marched through the capital. It was one of the biggest police operations Parliament's seen. But just as things looked set to spin out of control, the protesters pulled it back. Political editor Tover O'Brien reports. Unprecedented. The country's parliament locked down. And here's why. Protesters tearing through the barricades. Protesters! Raising fears reminiscent of the US Capitol riots. But then, because it's not the States, it's New Zealand, they politely put them back up again. <laughs> oh my God. No way. They did not just say that. They did not just say that. On a national Kiwi broadcast. Are you kidding me? I can't watch this. Okay. Hey, hey, New Zealand, this is what I have for you. Okay. This is what I have for you. How about that? You're right, but f you. Okay. We're, we're going to run that back for those of you who missed it. They said it rem it's reminiscent of the U.S. state capital uh, insurrection. But then, because it's not the states, it's New Zealand, they politely put them back up again. Because it's not the States, but in New Zealand, they politely put it back up again. You, okay? I mean, that's... You know what? F*** yourself. How about that? Uh, okay? Uh, hey, guess what? We're going to export more of our brain disease to your country. So, uh, yeah, get... 
And despite the echoes of America, thankfully this was not. Armed instead with tennis balls biffing them at police and media, along with a few chocolate chip cookies and a bit of bile. You're an embarrassment to us, the media and the government. Look at you all with your face nappies on. It wasn't just the we'll smash your camera, bro. <laughs> I love that. That was that was straight. That was straight Kiwi. I'll we'll smash your camera, bro. I'll smash it. Was that Quinn? <laughs> just kidding. He's Scottish. Why the f would he be there? Predictable targets. At one point, the protesters also turned on themselves. <laughs> Exception taken to a dancing protester who was forcibly removed twice from the inner sand. Oh no, we're beefing chocolate chip cookies, bro. Bro! Although some of the messaging was inconsistent. 1080 is a diabolical sin that should be banned forever. Pretty much the sick of our freedoms being taken away from us. It was delivered en masse with... Wait, what did the first guy say? Forever. Pretty much the... Consistent. 1080 is a diabolical sin that... 1080? What the f is 1080? It's a doable little sin, but what, what, what's 1080? Oh, it's a piss, piss poison. All right. It should be banned forever. Pretty much the sick of our freedoms being taken away from us. It was delivered en masse with protesters coming from all over Level 2 New Zealand. But the welcome mat was not rolled out. Get vaccinated, you dipshits. Oh, oh, pretty lame. It's pretty ridiculous. Everyone should just go out and get vaccinated. Strikes me that they don't know the proper medical information. It all began with a Wait, are those guys even from New Zealand? What the f They sound British, dude. Those people just sounded British. Uh, they sounded English. A civil start in Civic Square. Turning up the volume as the protest burnt its way through Wellington. Protesting by bike. Oh my god, that is the dude. That, that is the most annoying way. That is the most annoying way to protest by literally just like revving your bike engine. You, you already, you know, that's a self-report. You, you're just there for attention. By foot, for the smaller of the crowd by shoulder, and for anti-vax lawyer Sue Gray on a wave of applause. Both on the scene and behind the scenes, this was one of- New Zealand is at 34 COVID deaths and these people are protesting. Total in two years, scroll all the way down. COVID-19, current cases, information about confirmed improbable cases of COVID-19 in New Zealand. All right, is, what the fuck? Current situation, new cases reported in the past 24 hours at the border, 34. 174 new cases reported in what? Like, in, in, in a place where there's like, what, a thousand people or what's going on? How? No shot, right? A 34 only? 174? Okay, how many people died in New Zealand? 34 people died in New Zealand. Total disease, 30... No. No. That's a joke, right? Bro, we had like 9 people die or 10 people die at Astroworld. Like, just Astroworld. You know, Travis Scott was popping off too hard and 10 people died. These motherfuckers had 34 people died total of COVID? Get the fuck out of here, dude. That's insane, dude. A third of the entire deaths of COVID in New Zealand died at Astroworld, dude. Nearly a third. There were more people at Astroworld than total cases? Oh my god. That's disgusting. These people are ridiculous, dude. We've had 34 people die since the stream started. We've had 34 people die since the last hour. Proportionally, New Zealand has 5 million people. That's like if only 2,000 people died in the U.S. What? Wait, hold on. Hold on. You mean to tell me that the Kiwi COVID death rate is like in the United States in comparison to the New Zealand COVID death rate, we are like what? 350 times worse? More than 350. Almost 400 times worse. Our number of deaths is 400 times worse than New Zealand. <sighs> That's disgusting. Yeah, but you didn't lose your freedoms. Yeah, except for tell that to the 800,000 people that died who did lose their freedoms. They lost their lives. The largest police operations at Parliament. 
New Zealand has like a hundred times less population. Dude, I already made that adjustment. I literally made that adjustment just now. How do you not understand? The police commissioner confident as he got to work. Are you planning for it to get aggressive? We have plans in place, so I won't go into the detail, but I'm happy with where we're at with it. All precautions taken. But have there been any threats of firearms? I, I, I don't think it would be appropriate. If we compare both countries, one's literally a continent, the other is an island. Is that why it's, uh, you know, 300, almost 400 times worse? Because one is a continent, the other is an island? Is that what you're saying? That's the reason? So why is it that, like, other continents are doing better? Why is China doing so much better than America? Larger. UK is an island. They didn't do so hot. For me to make any comments on intelligence that we've received. A lot of the vitriol from anti-vaxxers is directed at Jacinda Ardern. Yes, I do run my own uh, social media, so of course I, um, I get a slice of that, but I'm very clear that that's not indicative of the vast bulk of New Zealanders. The protest is also a tiny minority. Way more people were vaccinated just today than were marching, but still. I'm obviously concerned. I've never seen Parliament locked. That's a, this is a pretty fun way of covering this issue, though. Like, your your uh uh like the new zealand uh local news or mainstream news is like surprisingly i mean it's like rupert murdoch isn't it i know australia is all rupert murdoch and they're like super reactionary but surprisingly on this issue they're not i guess because it's like like you would not hear this in an american broadcast especially in like local news where they literally brought up the fact that more people got covid vaccinations on that day alone than were protesting that's like that's an immediate own where you conclusively show that, like, uh, this protest is tiny. It's not significant. I've never seen Parliament locked up like this. MPs watched from inside, warned not to head I gotta outside. I'll be back. Though after being spotted at an anti-vax protest in Whanganui last week, National MP Harete Hipango was considering it. Will you be going out to the protest today? I could be. You'll see. I don't know at the moment. Quickly kiboshed by Collins. Have, Have any of your MPs expressed a desire well, to leave the anti-vaxxers? Well, I've made it really clear that I don't think that that is the right thing to do. Uh, this is very much an anti-vaccination protest, and we don't want to really be seen with it. And it wasn't the only one today up at the Tehana border north of Auckland. Dozens of protesters blocked the road for about an hour. Nice and peaceful, lovely day. Got your sunscreen on? Peaceful until one of the protesters bit a police officer. And Tova, are the more aggressive members of the protest movement worrying the Prime Minister? Mel, being targeted by aggressive fringe movements is part of the job for any Prime Minister, but like with anything aggressive or threatening, they do take precautions, like not publicly announcing details of her planned trip to Auckland tomorrow. Today's protest was organised by Destiny's Church. They make a lot of platitudes about peaceful protests, but there was a really gnarly, angry edge to a lot of the protesters here today. And obviously questioning the vaccine is fine, it is a choice, protest is great, but with that anger and that susceptibility to misinformation that could put their families at risk there ultimately was just a kind of a feeling of sadness here today tova thank you far right party leader condemning anti-vaxxers wait quickly kiboshed by collins is this the is she the far right uh, lady new zealand population density is 19.1 kilometer square so it's 167th usa population density is 146 so the thing is um that's not a really good that's not a really good way to do analysis even though that shows how close they are uh regardless because like the densely populated areas are still going to be population centers and you have to look at like the actual i don't know how what the accurate metric would be there but like we have new york city for example you know what i mean which is like super dense um whereas uh, but then we also have Wisconsin, you know, and I feel like that really, um, that doesn't show the full, uh, that doesn't show the full story. We have a lot of densely populated cities, but then we also have so much land and so much space where there's no one there or Kansas. Have your MPs express a desire well, to I've made it really clear that I don't think that that is the right thing to do. Uh, this is very much an anti-vaccination protest and we don't want to really be seen with it.
And it wasn't the only one today. Up at the Tehana border north of Auckland, dozens of protesters blocked the road for about an hour. Nice and peaceful, lovely day. Got your sunscreen on? Peaceful until one of the protesters bit a police officer. What? What? What was he trying to do? Give him COVID? <laughs> That's awesome. Trying to do poison damage? New Zealand fired their country wizard a couple months ago, so they now don't have wizardly protection against COVID in New Zealand anymore. That's why they got fucking... They got a surge now. Because they don't have wizardly protection. Yeah. Yeah, he said beat. Yeah, he beat. He beat the guy. And gave him COVID. <laughs> Ape together strong. Uh, I pay. I pay. I've rejected. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>